Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and this right here is actually a whole collection of books. God inspired dozens of writers over hundreds of years to write down true stories and words of wisdom. And together, they reveal God's one big story of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a plan to rescue us, even when we turned away from him. In fact, God gave up everything to come and live among us as a human being. That's an amazing demonstration of humility. And I've got four stories from the life of Jesus to show you what it can look like. We get started in the book of Matthew. Right here, Jesus knows the religious leaders have made plans to arrest and kill him. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus lays out his heart before God in prayer, pleading for an easier way. But even as he begs, he says, let what you want be done, not what I want. Jesus' closest friends, let's just say they put nap time first. We move over to the book of John now. Jesus has been arrested and lied about by fake witnesses. Then he's sentenced to die. Jesus, who has never done a single wrong thing, is nailed to a rough wooden cross. I mean, he's got all the power in the world. He could come right down off that cross, but he gives his life for us, and for three dark days, it seems he's gone, until God pulls off the biggest upset in the history of the universe. Now we take a quick jump to the book of Philippians. Right here, the Apostle Paul explains what Jesus did for us. None of you should look out just for your own good. Each of you should also look out for the good of others. You should think and act as Jesus did. He was humble and obeyed God completely. He did this even though it led to his death. You see, Jesus gave up everything for us. And now, God's Spirit gives us the power to put others first. We wrap up in the book of Luke. It's Easter Sunday. The world has been changed forever. But so far, only a few people get it. As two of Jesus' followers hike from Jerusalem to Emmaus, they hash out the crazy story they've heard that Jesus is alive again. Then a stranger comes up and joins them. The man uses scripture to explain why this crazy story has to be true. The friends decide to invite him to dinner, which is when they suddenly realize just who they've been hanging out with. Jesus showed us the ultimate way to put others first. And because he's alive, we have the power to give up what we think we deserve to put others first too. That's true humility. And I can't wait to see how it plays out in you and me.